A Florida pension fund has decided to file a lawsuit against Twitter and Elon Musk in order to stop Musk's purchase of the company. They cite many irregularities and that their hope is to stop the $44 billion takeover. Essentially, they're making the argument that Delaware law forbids a quick merger because of important links between Musk and two other Twitter shareholders. This is said to include his financial advisor, Morgan Stanley, and Twitter founder, Jack Dorsey. This purchase would make Musk owner of 15% of Twitter shares. Essentially, there must be a three-year delay in the merger unless the other two-thirds of shares he doesn't own are voted upon for approval. Now, by the end of the year, Musk is looking to complete his $54.20 a share takeover of Twitter, which would be one of the fastest buyouts of a major company. And in fact, this would be one of the largest buyouts of a country in financial history. The lawsuit also alleges that Twitter's directors did not engage in proper conduct, breaching their fiduciary duties. Along with it, they're seeking legal fees and costs. They, however, did not specify in their filing how they would be harmed if the merger was completed ahead as is specified by law. According to the filing with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, Ellison is putting up $1 billion into the transaction. The Saudi Arabian investor Prince Alawid bin Talal, who also initially opposed the buyout, agreed to roll his $1.9 billion stake into the deal according to the filing. The filing also showed that a margin loan was taken out by Musk to finance the deal would be reduced from $12.5 billion to $6.25 billion. Elon Musk had said that he had been able to raise approximately $7 billion from investors like Larry Ellison, the Qatar State Investment Fund, and Saudi Prince Alawid bin Talal. The real controversy here has been Elon Musk's declaration that he is a free speech absolutist and that anybody should be allowed to say whatever it is that they want. And of course, we know that there really is no free speech absolutist. And if they did, if there really was, and they allowed things like child pornography, they belong in prison. But nobody really believes him here that he is uh, this, you know, free speech activist. He says he plans to make the far right and the far left uncomfortable with the situation which is very strange because it's the far right that's cheering him on that he that he's not far right he's not far left but he's going to be the, the free speech but we do notice it's the far right that's cheering him on they're the ones who know they're going to get emboldened to spread hate speech so that's kind of the problem here is that that's what they do that's what the problem is but it's odd for someone like him to say that he's not far right when he openly declared that not only was he in support of the far right coup inside of, I believe it was Bolivia for the minerals, for his electric cars, but that he declared that the imperialists can coup whoever it is that they want. So it seems odd that he would say that he, he doesn't support the far right or the far left when he very clearly did support a very far-right government in Bolivia that went around killing native activists and anyone who opposed their rule and essentially cooed that country in favor of U.S. imperialist interests and his own profit margin as the owner of Tesla. So Elon Musk is actually very far from what it is that he claims he supports. He says he supports freedom of speech, but how long before pictures of him and just saying Maxwell start disappearing? How soon will criticisms of his union busting or, his anti or people trying to build unions at Tesla mysteriously go missing from the social media platform? It seems very obvious to me that putting this in the hands of, frankly, just another capitalist. Jack Dorsey is, was just another capitalist. and. So is Elon Musk. So we really shouldn't expect anything to change whatsoever in this regard. Because in the end, no matter what Musk says, capital will still rule the day. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.